Happy Fools, Happy Fools. Hey everyone, it's your girl Sasha Laurel and welcome to another exciting episode of Happy Foods 2 for 2 and today we're going on a food tour y'all with Island Food Tours. Let's go on the bus. So we're here with Sandy, the co-founder of Island Food Tours. Sandy, what is Island Food Tours? Island Food Tours is basically a tour company that deals with taking locals as well as tourists mm -hmm. on culinary adventures. So we have different food tours that cater to different persons, whether you're someone that likes brunch, whether you're someone that likes local cuisine, or whether you're someone that just wants to try something new. We cater to different palates. And we take persons on culinary road trips where they go and they get to sample different foods and taste things from different restaurants around the island. And it's just all about creating experiences. Okay, now I know you have several. We'll be doing the brunch in right. tour. Exactly. So you guys will get to see all the stops and all of that. So I don't want to talk about that, but tell me a little bit about some of the other tours you offer. Okay, so for example, we have the Flavors of Nassau Food Tour. And that tour is particularly geared to persons who want to experience the real Bahamas. So we take you to places where you get down home food. So for example, you may sample stew fish and Johnny cake or chicken styles from the shoal, or you may sample some peas and rice, macaroni and cheese, um, and kong salad from Drifters. We take you to Great Cliff where you can sample some Bahamian made chocolates. So those are some of the things that you would get on our Flavors of Nassau food tour. Mm -hmm. Then we are currently rolling out some new tours. So for example, we're rolling out a pub crop so oh, you would get wrong. to go to like three exactly <laughs> you get to go to like three or four i'm glad different... we ain't doing that one no i guess negroes gotta be stable listen and they would be started from early right? exactly <laughs> so we we're rolling out a pub crawl so we go to three okay. or four different bars and you sample the local bears you sample rums mm -hmm. um different cocktails and it ends in a mixology class oh awesome. where you get to actually roll Great. up your sleeves and make yeah. So how do people get in contact? To I know you guys have give us all the information they need, the price. Um, well, I know the price is very based on the tour, the right. kind of tour, so I wouldn't want you to give out the prices. But give us the information that people need if I want to have just me and my girls. Right. So, for example, if you want to reach us, you can always find us on Facebook, Island Food Tours, or by our website, www.islandfoodtour.com, and all of the tours are listed there. The prices, okay. the start time, and also the places where you would visit on each tour. Okay. How receptive how the company is, the, 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 the actual restaurants and some of the stalls on Arawaki, how, they, how receptive have they been? Because this is new, like this is almost brand new. Right, so the vendors have been very receptive. So I'm That's happy good. to say that um, when we, even now, like the vendors on the brunch tour, when mm -hmm. we first approached them, they were very excited. They were like, oh, we follow you guys on Instagram. Okay, great. And so that was a good thing. So it was like a really good mesh. And what, what's also great about that is that because we have a good relationship with the vendors, we get to cross-promote each other. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, so gotcha. that has been one of the main, um, the most valuable parts of it. But the reception has been very good. And a lot of the vendors are like, we're so happy to see something like this. Awesome, awesome. Final thing, is there a number that people can call uh, as well? Not just the Facebook, the Instagram, the website. Is there a number people can call to reach? Sure, the number is 428-5830. Kenny will put that somewhere. Kenny, put it somewhere. Right here, so the people can see the information. <laughs> All right, guys, so we go into our first stop, Studio Cafe. Second stop is Mesa Girl. Y'all stay tuned. You're watching Happy Food 242. Stay tuned to more Happy Foods 242 after these messages.
right, welcome back to Happy Foods 242. First stop, Studio Cafe, Salmon Eggs, Benedict, Chef Tanisha. Tanisha is going to show us how it's done. Okay, perfect. Okay, today we're going to make a smoked salmon Benedict. Mm -hmm. First thing we do is butter our muffin. Okay. Butter in the muffin. Yes. <laughs> I like food, food, Tanisha. Okay. I love food. Fantastic. <laughs> You're foodie like me then? Yeah. Oh, yeah, probably worse than better. You. Okay, while this is getting golden brown, we're gonna poach off our eggs. Okay, now this is the part I'm interested in. Okay. I have not mastered this. Okay, all you simply need is hot boiling water, uh -huh. a little vinegar, white vinegar, and okay. salt. Okay, vinegar. okay, That's I can it. watch you. Crack egg. Ah, yeah. So that's simply boiling water and a little bit of vinegar. Yes, Hot boiling water. Okay. And a little salt of flavor. A little salt of flavor. Okay. I can try that at home tomorrow. So how, like, how do you know when it's like, right? Like I like it not hard. I like it runny because I want soft up all the. Okay then. But Benedict is normally poached soft. Uh-huh. As you can see, it comes up oh, okay. the rhyme inside. Right. You, know, you can see it start to come ah, around. Ah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Next thing we do, we do smoked salmon and spinach Benedict. That's oh, it. okay. <laughs> we turn we turn in this one a little up. Yes, we are. A flavor a little salt and pepper. Wow, that's what you can Gotcha. Okay. I really can try this at home. <laughs> I can do the spinach. I gotta master the eggs. Oh wow, so you're actually putting it on the bread while it's still on the... Yes ma'am. Why, why are we doing it that way? So the moisture can stay inside the spinach. Got you. Makes sense. Yeah. This can taste good y'all. This yeah. can taste good. I, I feel it. Now for the smoked salmon. Smoked salmon is normally pre-cooked, so you don't have to warm it or anything. Okay. So we're gonna let Tanisha finish that. She's gonna finish it, put it all together, and when y'all see me again, we can do some magic. I'll be sitting down eating my smoked eggs, no, smoked salmon eggs, Benedict with spinach. All right, so Chef finished it off. This is how it looks. When you come to Studio Cafe, this is how it's gonna look for you and your friends, your family, however you wanna do it. So I'm just gonna take a quick bite and tell y'all how this tastes. It looks good. Excellent presentation, excellent presentation. I get a little, so I just have the hollandaise sauce and the salmon. Obviously we have some breakfast potatoes here. Okay. There's nothing better in the world than a perfectly poached egg. So I'm gonna get a complete now, bite now salmon, egg, spinach. That's awesome. That's some good stuff. When you come as well on the island food tour, you will get a complimentary mimosa. Cheers. I'm sure this mimosa is gonna taste great. Next stop is Mesa Grill, guys.
Okay, so second stop we're at, Mesa Grill. We're still on the island brunching tour. We still got Sandy on my side. Sandy, as I am about to enjoy this smoked pastrami hash with a fried egg and a chocolate French toast with dark rum syrup. I want you to just tell me a little bit about how did you even get the idea to do or to come up with this business called the Island Food Tour? Okay, well, as you enjoy, I'll talk. So Island Food Tours actually came about a couple years ago because of the type of job I have. So because of the nature of my work, I travel a lot. And so I'm always visiting a number of different countries. And so one of the things that always stood out to me was that these countries always had a food tour. And I'd seen the walking tours and they were fine, but in one in particular, I did a driving food tour in China where we drove to four or five different locations and we got to sample cuisine from each of these places. And I was like, wow, this is really a cool idea. And so I thought, we don't have anything like this in Nassau. So I spoke to my friend who is now my partner and we decided to come up with Island Food Tours and we initially rolled out with the flavors of Nassau Food Tour mm -hmm. and that was geared towards tourists. Okay. But what happened is that we had started in Freeport and things were going good in Freeport but Hurricane Matthew hit ah, okay. in 2016 mm -hmm. and so basically everything came to a standstill in Freeport and we were a little bit in limbo for like a year, like what to do, is, it, is the economy gonna come back? Mm -hmm. Are the hotels gonna open back? And so we were in limbo for a while and then we decided, hey, let's move to Nassau and let's, let's try to get it started again. Mm -hmm. So we moved to Nassau about a year later and we revamped it because before it was the flavors of Freeport food tour. Mm -hmm. So then we rebranded it. I did not know that. Exactly, it started right. off in Freeport. So we rebranded it, the flavors of Nassau food tour. And so that food tour, catered to tourists, persons coming to the island and they wanted to sample Bahamian cuisine. But what happened, we started getting requests from locals. Okay. Like, hey, what do you have for locals? We want to do a food tour. And so that's how we started branching out. And then we did our research and there are so many different types of tours. So we can do a tapas and wine tour, a sushi tour. Right now we're on the brunch tour. Um, like I was telling you earlier, the pub crawl. So it's just so many different ideas and things that we're doing. But yeah, that's how we originally got our start. When y'all get that sushi tour, you could be there. I can be there. <laughs> just, I mean, just call. You be, yeah. Just call. Just let you know. Just call. Don't worry, you will be one of the first person to we let know. So it's just so many different ways you can go with it. So listen, the food is really good. Here at Mesa Grill, y'all are going to see more of Mesa Grill this very same season. So make sure you stay tuned. Watch every Saturday, 7 p.m., channel 212. The pastrami hash is good. I haven't touched the, the, the fried egg because I, I want to do something with it off camera. <laughs> and one of the good things about this, this particular stop is you get a choice of the white or the red sangria. Correct. Now, I'm partial to the white. The red, I understand, because we've been on this tour yes. before. <laughs> it's a little sweeter, and it, it gets you there. <laughs> so I particularly prefer the white sangria. It is awesome. I love, I love the red. They use fresh fruit. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nice and cold. The food comes out hot. I mean, the presentation, you saw it. The presentation was awesome. All right, that was Mesa Grill, second stop. Stay tuned, you're watching Happy Foods 242. Did you miss most of this week's show? Make sure to visit our YouTube channel to see everything from Happy Foods and Happy Foods Bahamas. All right, so welcome back. You're still watching Happy Foods 242. Guys, we are on the way to our final stop, which is Gumbe House. But I want to do something a little different as we are on the ride back to Gumbe House. I want to introduce you guys to Arthur. Arthur plays a very important role in this entire process. Without Arthur, y'all ain't gonna get nowhere. So Arthur. Yes, madam. How, I mean, just tell me a little bit about yourself and then why are you involved with the Island Food Tours? Well, I've been in and out of the uh, public transportation business for some time now, and recently I've gotten back into it because of a good friend of mine who have interest in Island Food Tour. And um, I think, uh, in general, it's a wonderful um, 
experience because it's not offered by any other company and it's very interesting as far as our visitors and our local uh, our folks is concerned. Now Arthur, you know, one thing I also remembered about you when I did this tour for the first time or when I was invited to, you know a lot of Bahamian history. A lot of Bahamian history and tell me how that I guess uh, helps especially with the tourists and I guess some locals because unfortunately we have a lot of Bahamians who don't know their history how important is that for you that aspect of the food tour well um, in general what I try to do is I try to uh, uh, part uh, to my guests and my visitors, my visitors uh, alike um, some knowledge of the Bahamas um, I, I want you to I wanted I want them to be able to recognize that the Bahamas itself is an old island country. It's, 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 it's been around from 1670. I want them to understand the intricacies of the island itself in relationship to um, the European countries and to America in general. I want to be able to connect historically certain aspects of the Americas with the British colonies and with Britain itself. So what I find interesting is that people don't realize, especially Americans, uh, they don't realize how old the Bahamas is. I always tell them that the Bahamas is so old that the parliament system of the Bahamas is older than the Constitution of America. Wow. And they find it okay. to be very interesting. Yeah. So these little uh, trivial bits, I, I try to engage my visitors uh, to, to back and forward as to the history of the country. And I'm, 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 I'm actually proud of this country and the history that uh, is involved in this country. Well, Arthur, let me tell you, no one proud of this country than me. So that means me and you are on the same page. Guys, we are heading to Kumbe House. That'll be our final stop. This is the Island Brunchin Tour. Make sure you all go check out Island Food Tours on Instagram and Facebook. Their website is www.islandfoodtours.com. And when you all see me again, I probably can be cooking something and then eating something and then that's the end of the show. All right, so this is the final stop on the island, Brachin Tour. We are at Gumbe House in the heart of downtown Nassau. This is Matea. She is my chef for the day. Matea, just take me through what it is that we're going to be preparing today. Well, today we're going to be preparing churros and chicken wings with a sweet and spicy sauce. Okay, so I love churros. It's a Mexican dessert. It's like a, it's twist. like a what? It's like a, like a hard twist. twist. Yeah, yeah, Mexican twist. And then we do, I mean, all Bahamians love chicken. Who don't love chicken? Everybody loves chicken. Okay, so let's take it away. We're gonna see some of it. I'm not gonna show y'all all of it, some of it. And then y'all, we can do the magic thing with these two. And then, y'all can see it at the end. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the wings. Okay. Now we have to prep this. I don't know if you want tips, no tips. That's up to you. <sighs> Let me tell you some of how I feel about wings. I don't like the tip. No, I like the tip, you like but the I tip. like this part and I don't like that part. I like flats, not drums. Okay. Well, how you feel? I like flats. So this works out. Okay, okay. me and you on the same page. Yeah. So just gotta cut down the middle, basically. Oh, this stuck. This yeah, good we prepping. Nice. Okay. And we cutting off the tips. Hey! Mateo, we having a little challenge right on my team, boys against girls. Mm -hmm. I hope they see how seamlessly I cut this chicken. It's about to go. Y'all stay tuned for the last. This coming. I don't. I, anyway, one of them last episodes, boys against girls. Y'all stay tuned. The happy food soup or two. I don't like the drums. I don't. I just ain't a drum person. Or a flats person. I'm. I'm a flats person. Like these ones here, for sure for me. Yeah. The boys. The boys could have the drums. <laughs> don't forget to cut off the tips. Why are you cutting the tips? That's part of the thing I like to chew that part. Okay, leave your tips on. Okay. Right now, because we have to season. Okay. Got to be healthy, sanitary. Sanitize, season. Now, bam, it's we season. Got to have your line. It don't matter. Got to have your line. We can squeeze line. Got to have your line. I, I, this is a little secret. This is a little secret. I like to cut my lime like this, so when you squeeze it, it's going to be easier to squeeze. You all the boys watching at my every single move. Hey! They about to lose, y'all. 
We Y'all have. Stay tuned. Okay. <laughs> Paprika, Cajun, salt, and pepper. Now let me tell you. Let me show you. I can just do one to one. Let me tell you what I like to do with my wings. I think that makes no difference. To me, that don't make no difference. I like to do that when I do my wings, so that when I season it, in the bone. it gets into. In I shouldn't be saying all these things, because the boy's right there. Anyway, we don't have, well, we may have a chicken dish, because it's seafood, it's, it's a Bahamian dish, and it's something else. I can't remember right now. Burger. Yes, a burger. I'm going to let you season to okay. your discretion. So, paprika. Paprika really don't serve no purpose to me. Color. Make it nice and brown when we fry. Okay. And this is? White pepper. What's the difference between white pepper and black pepper? If white pepper is much stronger. And it also hides in the foods. You won't get the little black specks in the food. And this is? Cajun. I want plenty of this. No, man. Do over seasoning. You want to tell me salt? I did tell your discretion. And so the salt is what? Salt. We need plenty of this. No. We don't have. Mix. Mateo is the chef, but she making me do all the work. Let me tell you how I like my season. I like to, and I don't season my chicken on the day that I'm gonna cook it. I season it. Day before? At least a day before so I could sit. Yeah, that's why I said. I even away all my, anyway, me ain't doing chicken no way. I want y'all to see. Kenny, Jay, y'all see this? This is how it should, y'all, I wish y'all had smell vision because these smell really good. All right, so we got our wings seasoned up. We got the eggs. eggs and flour. Yep, eggs and flour. But we're only going to be seasoning everything. Uh, Batter and stuff, we're going to season everything. So these could be seasoned. Okay, so question. Mm -hmm. You say you seasoning everything. I usually, most people only season the actual meat. I know. So is it best to season everything? It would give it that, that same flavor of juice trying to get to the mm -hmm. bone, yeah. Because if you just use the flour, it's gonna just cover it. It's okay. Just, that's how Kentucky get all the flavors and all the food. They season everything. Everything. Okay. You want me to whisk this? There you go. Whisk. Shakar and why? About to go down. Kenny, J and Abe, be very scared. I have a hot too. It say Chef Sash. Get ready. This is a pre-recorded show, y'all. But it's about to go down. All right. So our eggs are with our flowers. Ah, flowers. Our flower. So you want me to okay. get a. Uh, oh yeah, I forget, you put the seasoning in though. So it's flour, egg, flour. Flour, egg, flour. Chicken and flour, then the egg, then the flour. Brrr, churro time and then brrr, and time. So this is the plated and final product, our churros dipped in at the end. You can see it dipped in some chocolate, rich dark chocolate, and then we had our wings with a sweet hot sauce that Matea did. We also have some signature cocktails that you will get once you book the Island Brunching Tour with the Island Food Tour. Sandy, just give us the information again if I want to be a part of this, if I want to bring all my friends, if I want to bring my class. 
because mm -hmm. you guys handle kids as well. Yeah. Give me all of that information again if I want to inquire about being on this tour. Okay, so if you want to book any of our tours, all of it is done through the website, which is www.islandfoodtour.com. No S, islandfoodtour.com. Okay. And our telephone number, 428-5830. Or just send us a message on Facebook, Island Food Tours, or on Instagram, Island Food Tour. All right, Sandy, this has been awesome. Yes, thank I you so much for I had a great day. Coming. Cheers. Cheers. Let's see how the cocktail tastes. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. Definitely nice. shout out Studio Cafe, mm -hmm. Razor Grill, mm -hmm. Clumbe House. Yes. Y'all can see more of some of them this season. And Happy Foods Happy 2, food. 4, 2. Happy food.